here we have a magic girl and at this point in the video I would normally say produced by truth of the matter is I don't know because this has a story behind it and quite a wonderful and intricate story that I'm not gonna go into right now but this game is a bit of a prototype now it's a design by a pinball designer who, who made some wonderful games called John Popperduke. Now you may well know him from designing Theatre of Magic, Tales of the Arabian Nights, Circus Voltaire, World Cup Soccer. Amazing games, fantastic games. Spencer had a Theatre of Magic for a number of years and it's a real beautiful game. So then describe what happens with this game would be to get into some pretty deep pinball politics and I am unqualified to come on on any of that stuff I really am certainly there's some people who who view this game in an unfavorable way because of the way it was manufactured that's all I'm going into I'm viewing it from the standpoint of the designer who I thought made some magnificent pinball games it's called Magic Girl and what you're going to see when you initially look at it is I'm already seeing influences from some of the other games. Uh, there's Genie, just there. Uh, of course, looks exactly like the Genie in Tales of the Arabian Nights. Uh, this young lady here looks an awful lot like Spencer. Thank you. Thank You're... you so much. Chris, do you know who the artist is for this? I don't know. It's Zombietti's first work. I didn't know that. There you go, you see. I've been able to teach you something. There you go. Spencer is not only a, a, a pretty face with blue hair. Um, it's chained up, much like Spencer. Spencer, it's got your, your chest in it as well. Yeah, lovely chest, that. There's a lovely, lovely chest. And we've got a grumpy genie, the younger. This is Genie, I think this is Genie the younger. Um, so I think it's actually a lovely looking back glass actually. It really is. So initial inspection you'd be seeing that there's there's no screen, but you'd be wrong. Because much like Circus Voltaire, the screen is in the playfield. And that's exactly where screen should be. Absolutely. In my opinion. 100 agree with that. It's just so much easier not to have to look look up so when you want to see your score so I like that there now there's, there's a real quality to, to this this screen here so I guess it, it must be an LCD screen it's certainly not a not a dot matrix display at all I've never played this game before so just, just taking a quick look at the play field it's heavily heavily populated immediately you will see some ramps which are going to remind you of some of the other Papa Duke games There's, um, there's quite a few design features. I don't know whether you've seen these rabbits, Chris. I can see the rabbit. They're, what does that remind you of? Um, the theatre vibe about it? It absolutely does, yeah. And there's, there's another theatre theater reference up here. If you look at this ring here, do you remember the spirit ring? The off spirit the, ring, yeah, yes, spirit the ring. It lifts the ball off the, um, off the ramp. That's, that's been reused there. Absolutely. So, I, I mean, I, I've not played this yet, but. See, I think the thing is to remember that, that Papa Duke did not finish this game. So we got Eric with us. Yeah. Eric, I'm, sorry, I'm not actually, I haven't got the mic up here, but yeah. we're gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna, if you could give us a, a little rundown of, of your involvement in this game and just how this game came into to being in your hands and what you've done to get it back up and running, basically. It's a long story, but I will try to keep it short. Uh, one of, uh, of a customer of mine he saw one magic girl in Holland. It was uh, in a basement because it didn't play. And he convinced my friend to buy it. But the, one of the conditions was if I could repair it. So I, we went together to the basement of the guy and Max was my friend. He asked me, can you fix it? And I had five minutes to decide. And I said, yeah. Every game can be fixed. Stupid of mine, but I said that. <laughs> and then he bought it. And then we started to try to investigate it. We took it to uh, uh, an attic because we wanted to have it uh, out of sight. And we are st 
started to find all the troubles in the machine, and then I found a, a, a list of problems. It, it was it was involved. unfinished. Yeah, there were missing uh, mechanics, uh, switches were missing, optos were missing, uh, a lot of diodes were soldered wrongly around, wires were wrongly soldered on the switches, and that's with every magical. So somebody was drunk with assembling it, and. The further we got, the more we saw in the program, because if you have no input, you have no output. So when we installed the, the lock mechanisms, we saw the first time multiple, first time lock. And then we saw that we were missing software. And that's the point that we tried to involve Jim to the yep, project. Jim from my pinballs. Yeah, and that was a real uh, uh, difficult thing. So we went to Jim, talked with him, he first said no, then we invited him to Holland to, to let him uh, play the game. He never played, a, he never saw a finished match again. So he came to Holland and then we became uh, more acquainted to each other and then at some point we said, okay, we will give you a machine, you finish it with your program, and when you're done, you want to have a copy. And that's the start of the project. At that moment, uh, it took us three and a half years to finish it. And we became friends. So? so? And now it's almost done. Uh, the last thing is, is uh, it's a little bit of a new news. There is a guy in Holland, out of all places in the world, a Dutch man bought the secret storage lockers of John. There are auctions, and he invited me to look at all the parts, and then we found some original design parts for the Magic World. So uh, this year we're going to Chicago, and we are going to install the new uh, speaker grill uh, plastics, uh, illuminated. Even the zipper logo underneath the backboard is going to be illuminated. So did you have to have those cut and manufactured? Yeah, I have the designs and we uh, reproduce them. Okay. And those are original ideas, so not from me or for Jim, no, it's yeah. original Jones. Even the Jinx uh, uh, turning disc, uh, how do you call it, here, over here. This is our our design. Yes, because yeah, the, it the, the was, spinning disc. It yeah. was just black duct tape. So it was ugly. So I did this from stolen from the Circus Voltaire design, mini play field. But was it meant with the original design it was meant to spin? Yeah, it, was, it was meant to spin, but it was just black. It was ugly. And now we found that John wanted to have a transparent uh, decal with a jinx figure on it okay. and a flasher underneath. Okay. And now we understand why the original uh, disc is translucent. Underneath the sticker, it's all uh, plastic. And, so, so and I have here a faded prototype copy of it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost. This one I uh, forgot to give up the real size. It has to be 40, 50 millimeters. This one is too small. But this is going to be on the spinner next year. And then you have a flashing disc. Those small parts are the last things you are going to do on it. And then it's finished. Have you things like you not knowing what the, not the original concept was for the spinning disc in terms of his design? Have you had any contact with him whilst you've been doing this, Papa Duke? No, because uh, we didn't want to get uh, uh, we didn't want to, uh, we don't want to give the story away. When we started this project. Everybody said it couldn't be done on pin side. And I don't want it to be the second deep route to, to give it. So we have to finish it and then go okay. to the world and say, okay, it's yes. finished. We tried to contact John and Max had a video conference with him. And the first thing he said, Magic Girl, didn't it work? It was perfect. Oh, he thought it was finished. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. He knows it's not finished, but he can't say that it was not finished because otherwise the lawsuit starts again. Okay, yeah, I mean, I didn't get into any of that at the start of the uh, video because it's, it's too complicated. And, and John is not a, a guy that you can uh, easily talk with. He denies everything. And last thing we heard that he said to someone that it's a shame that we didn't contact him. But 
in that we are. It, it, it's a shame because he is such a good designer of pinball yeah. machines. Oh, and, and, and I, I love his games. Yeah. I love the way he did it. Uh, even this game uh, is more beautiful than any other game. This one is uh, still missing the decals on the inside because Jim is afraid that it will uh, tear apart when you lift the play field. Okay. But there's some beautiful decals inside. Well, it's very deep, Eric. This, the, the, the area from the bottom oh, to the yeah. top, there's a lot of, lot of area inside the cabinet on display. Yeah, if you, if, uh, if, if you want to do service on a computer box, your hands are not long enough. So. It's impossible to do. And even the topper is now missing because it's very fragile. But after all, it's, it's the most beautiful game on the earth. And now it plays and it has a really good rule set. And the rule set was uh, already in it. So we, we didn't add anything special or self-creating something. The only thing that was missing was the end game with the videos and those kind of things. And that's what we added later. But it's all original. Well, thank you very much for restoring it because yeah. it would have been a game that would have been lost yeah. um, with, without, your, without your fine work. Uh, so, well, congratulations on it. Yeah, and, uh, and we will hopefully come over to Holland to see you soon as yeah. well. Yeah, you can play at my place also. We'd, lo and, uh, we'd, lo we'd love to. We're going to hopefully go over to Holland and, um, oh, and visit Dutch Pimble. Pimble. Yeah, and, and, and visit Dutch Pimble. So, um, yeah, yeah we'll come over and see you. We'd love to. Thank you very okay. much indeed, Eric. You're Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. And there you go. I mean, I didn't know Eric was going to come over there, so that gives us some real good inside information on, on the game there. I think it, it is a beautiful game. It, it is stunning. And anybody that saw this game would immediately know that it was a Papa Duke game. It, there's, for all the influences that we mentioned earlier, I think the thing to do now is maybe have a little game. One thing I do want to show everybody, Spence, is around this side of the pinball machine. There's actually two buttons. Now, you'll recognise that if you know World Cup Soccer, of course. The second button here is not a flipper button. That is to, as I understand it, initiate the spinning disc that Eric was talking about then. So, I, I believe, and I've never played this, this will be my first game that you'll be witnessing. The spinning disc is the ball, it's part of the ball save for the out lane on the left-hand side. There is a Magna save, much like Theatre of Magic, on the right hand side. But we, we know he likes this stuff, Papa Duke, because there's a button which is the goalkeeper save on World Cup Soccer. But also, uh, if we look on Saudi Arabia Nights, the ball save is that the cage is popping up on the out lane. So it's very, very innovative. And so, so there's so much going on on this game. I think I'm just going to press start and uh, you'll get to witness our first game on this uh, wonderful, wonderful magic kill. Wonderful game, just beautiful looking game. Let's get on it, let's have a look. Just realise that it's a metal apron there, really nice. Let's give it a plunge. Now, the skill shot, if you actually come round, come round it, Spence, that skill shot, you'll recognise that, of course. Very, very similar to World Cup Soccer. There we go, very similar. The electricity is closed. Flippers feel nice. Magic. Now the post has popped up there as a post save. Yes. Which you were saying, Spencer, is meant to have been on Theatre of Magic. Well, yeah, that, that's where the special light is on Theatre of Magic. Um, and they've actually, with the um, Eric has got a Theatre of Magic with that installed on it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. Types. So when we go over there, we may get a look at some, some quite interesting pinballs. Well, of course, Champion Pub has got that. It, it didn't help me then. I actually forgot it was there. I should have just, I, I tried to do a slap save. It's, it's actually remember, it's changing your pinball habits to remember it's there. Give me a ball save. I mean, the screen's looking great at the back as yeah. well, I have to say. It's lovely to film because the screen's at the back. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, of course. Try and dial a couple of shots in if I can. Please excuse my gameplay. That's a nice little shot through there, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to go off the back of the play field here and have a look around. It's... I summon you, genie. Watch this wizardry! 
Oh, it's okay, just spinning disc there. Yeah. It's just, there's a oh, stop. It's just stopped. Yeah. I missed that. I'll... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna handicap myself by limiting my number of games on this. I, I am. I am gonna play it and try and show you as many shots as I can because it deserves it. Whenever do you else you get a chance to play a game like this? Just trying to hit that ramp, struggling with that ramp there. It's nice scoop shot in there. Oh, there it is. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh. So the hand has stopped it. Look at it, the, the, the ball locked. The hand came down as a mechanism. The hand blocked ah. that ball in there. So, it, and obviously, magic lock is lit again. See if you can get it up there again, Chris. I will try. Electricity is closed. Jesus, it's up. So this is Jim's game. Uh, this, this is Jim's, the one that Eric was saying about. So Jim is, my pinballs are so, much work here in the UK to which helped so many of us out with some of these fantastic boards that are must-haves if you're gonna put mods on any Valley Williams. There it is again. So it's back down there. It's great that upper play field. Isn't it? Oh, it's it, that. So what happened is that spinner actually spun it. It went on the spinner. It was staying there, and it stayed on the outlay. It spun it into the outlay. Um, oh, I've still got another go. Yeah, got another ball. Oh, I want player two. I'm playing a two-player game somehow. Okay, which is fine. Why not? It gives us a good good go at it, doesn't it? Very I think you must have pressed start twice. There you go. It wouldn't be the first time. Actually, it wouldn't be the first time. Couldn't you do that in the competition? I, last year? Well, I only pressed it once. That was, I think that was a problem. Yeah, you're to press it Selfish, twice. yeah. Now that drops in. That's really nice, actually, isn't it? Oh! Is she saying I'm spelling you, Genie, or smelling you? Summoning you. Oh, right. Oh, do they smell genius or anything? Well, they do now. You are very skinful. A lot of those call outs have got a very Dutch twang about them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. Lovely. Oh, that's nice as well. Okay. Lovely spinner around there. A, a magnet popped that up. There's a, like a magnet or something. That oh pop that up onto that upper plate field. Yeah, it's trapped. It. I don't know whether you can see that. No, I've got, got, got a clue where the ball is. It's just. It's just in here. Wow. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, sorry. I, I was... It's on there on a magnus saver, oh, a diver. I see. Yeah, no, yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Now it's just released it. Let's open this box of so again, very re reminiscent of the uh, of the theatre spirit ring again. Oh, I've Hang just knocked it into the bloody outlay. Very re reminiscent. Okay, now actually, if you look here, this dude up here is very much like the ringmaster in yes. Circus of Altair. So there's there's almost there's similarity to every game. Obviously, you've got your lamp there. Yeah. Oh, I know. There you go. Fairy Tales of the Arabian Nights. Absolutely. High frequency does the work. Spot the lion saw. The lion saw is there. So I think it must, it is, it's ah. these targets. And there's a captive ball there, which I think is so really there's, neat. There's a lion saw instead of a tiger saw. Ah, okay. You see that? And there's, a, there's, there's three, there's, there's yeah. three of them, they're not all targets, one's a captive ball. Yeah, I see it. Oh, it's a bit absolute, there you go, that's my game over. It's an absolute pleasure to play it. Well, should we have a game, we game of doubles? Of why not, why not, it's, it's worth it. Okay, I'll, I'll start first. I think oh. you just take this. I'll start first, you take that off and then. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure my strap's not on. One. If you have any skin, you better use it I think now. I pressed it twice. Just have a look. Yes. Yes, it's two players. Yeah. Yeah, that, 
Richmond is going crazy down there. That's a lovely orbit. It's actually the first time I hit that. Okay, so the hand has locked it that side, so it locks it on both sides. You better use it now. If you have any skill, you better use it now. Yeah, electricity is closed. <laughs> that was magic, my friend. This is nothing but the magic. Watch this. Reversal. Set it up. That's your ghost. Oh, excellent. Sorry, we, we just we just had a little fit of giggles there. Oh dear. Right, player two, here we go. Right. If you have any skill, you better use it now. Do you hear that, Spence? Do you have any skill? I bet you better use it, it now. now. That's, that's sound advice coming from a machine. That's it. Ooh, a very skillful. I am very skillful. There you go, sir. It's obvious he doesn't know you. Oh, it spun you out then. Yeah, that that's, that, that's happened to me a few times. It's certainly Why don't you record this bit from that side? Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, and have a it. view of the plunge. Oh, you make it a good plunge, sir. I will. Yes, but this is this is exactly it from um, World Cup Soccer. So that was a, the skill shot, what was it? Oh, genius. Oh, is it going to give me the... Please, give me the ball save. Yes. Here is an extra pinball. Okay, that, that button on the side actually changed which direction it was spinning ah, when I pressed it. That would make a big difference. My I thought I'd do a little cheeky thing with a button then, but... So, that button alters the direction? Right, once it's spinning. Once it's spinning. But it's not spinning, so... Oh, no, 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 so no, something no, obviously no. activates the spin on it. High frequency does the button. You suck. High frequency does the button. I've got the magnet side. I summon you, genie. I think you've summoned the genie. He's on his way. So. Very nice. Again. So you've locked two? Yeah, I've locked two. If I can get a multi volt, I shall be happy. Well, that was interesting. Did you see that? I didn't know. Right, okay. The ball went up this upside down scoop, popped out, and went back down in that hole. Very nice, very nice indeed. Let me uh, let me come round there and relieve you of this. <laughs> Did oh. you finish the sentence? Lovely. Bit of bit of light relief yeah. there, Chris. Oh, the of this at the end of, end of the sentence is crucial yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Not that type of video. I bet, I bet you're quite relieved. Uh, aren't I, you? Well, I'm not. Well, I wasn't because you stopped short of it. But um, <laughs> I was going to say it's not that type of channel, but it sort of is. Yeah, 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 as a new window goes, it's right up there. Now, I wonder if I steal your multi-ball. No. 
Oh, oh no, wow. it's spun me out. Oh, it's spun wow, me out. Yes. I'll take that all day long. So if you can lock one more ball, I'm, I'm gonna I think try. you're in. I'm going to try. Thank you. Watch this with a green. Watch this with a green. No. Damn. Oh dear. Can we just so, verify who, who won? Who won? Who won? I have a ball, so watch out. I don't know, I need to find out. It's crucial to I'm bored. How about you? It, it was it doesn't say. It will do. It will do. No. It was up there. I I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, uh, Spencer, before we finish, I think we'd better give it a twang. What's, what's the twang I like? Oh, actually, really, that's got some... That's got some twang, oh, isn't it? Go on, go on, release it. Oh, my oh, word. That's a good, solid twang, that is. That's a good, solid twang. Um, this, is, this is a very, very, very interesting machine. I think we're very, very lucky to be able to get a go on this. Incredibly rare. Looking forward to going over to Holland um, to go and to go and visit Eric and see what other other delights he's got because apparently he was he was rattling off a list yesterday prototype machines they've got over there that have got all sorts of crazy quirks machines that you're very very familiar with that you won't have seen in the guys that they're in. So looking forward to that big time. There you go. Well, thank you, Jim for allowing us access to your wonderful machine. Thank you uh, to Eric for letting us know all the, uh, oh, well, not all the details, the story is longer than ever. I think what I'll do, there is another video available which I will, I'll put the link to underneath. Yes, because there's a documentary, isn't there? Yeah, so I'll, I'll link, and if you want to know the, a bit more of the details of, of how this came to be at, at the start, I mean the original concept, we'll link the videos below. There's another interview with, with Eric actually as well, um, which will explain a little bit more. But anyway, there you go. Magic girl, not you, Spence.